Welcome back everybody to Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. Yesterday we left off with this bloody fight. Quite challenging, multiple phases, multiple enemies. I am gonna be honest, I started the game last night and I wanted to do this haunting quest that you guys see in the top of the compass there, this teal colored quest. I thought maybe I can do some more side missions to get more health and whatnot and or like better, better gear, better what, whatever, better skills. I couldn't. I can't reach this quest. <laughs> Maybe it's above ground, but it shows that it's in here. But well, I think what we just got to do is stick to this quest and try to try to beat this boss. So that's the objective that we have right now. All right. Let's go. I'm going to skip this so we don't have to sit through that again. I am no witch hunter. Never was. Never will be. Slimy monsters. Bloody hell. Is that me? Is that cheap tech? What the hell just came out of that shadow? It's worth it. Keep at it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, shit. I thought he would move further. Oh, shoot! Oh, not this thing. Oh, he's healing again, right? Come on, reload faster. I want to stay away from the little thing. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, no, not you. Go away. Health balls. <laughs> Health balls. Okay, running. No, 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 no. Where is he? Where is he? Don't I need to? Oh, there he is. Come on, where is it? There. <laughs> You have to position yourself perfectly to banish him. Adios, Red McWraith. Ugh. The way they just melt. I never wanted this. I hate the very thing I've become. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? This is out oh, vex me. No, oh, not her, not her. This. Damn you. Punch her! Punch her! And now I need to banish her as well, right? Click the banish, click the banish, click the banish, click the banish. Woo. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> they look like they're made out of jello. <laughs> Strawberry jam, strawberry jam. Magic is not evil. We use rituals to help the living, not curse them. Magic is only a tool. Okay. Her name is Deborah. Oh no, I've got to cut down from here. Oh. Ow! Go! 
got way on tail. I want to take care of Red first because he's harder for me for some reason. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Antea is also suffering. Okay, hang on. This is going to vex me. Do I just have to destroy one of them? Banish him. Injustice for all. Defeat the infamy. Nice. is oozing. Yikes. Big yikes. Maybe that's a feather that Deborah's sentence has been written with. Or something. Ew, the sound blah 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 blah. <laughs> Ew. Governor Haskell's quill. Enough. Mm. Can we please get out of here? <gasps> guys, 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 guys. The quill Governor Haskell used to sign Deborah's death warrant. Nice. Uh, not nice, but you know, like I was, I was, I was right. <laughs> uh, where's my outfits? Where, how do I how do I get to my outfits? I want to wear the cool outfit. There. Can I put this on right now? <gasps> I look so handsome. Look at me. Oh. <gasps> oh. I'm such a handsome boy. Also, I got something else. What else did I get? <laughs> was it was it this? A decoction thingy? Did I get a new de this one? Ethereal haste. No, but what was the- was this the other thing that I got? Now we're banishing, right? We're looking awesome! I love that these- these glowy signs are in there. This is gorgeous. A Bane Ring. Ah, oh, okay, thank you. Um, this one? Red's first Bane Ring. Oh, was it this one? Ariadne's Thread? Which- I'm using this one right now. Which has a lot of banished damage. Um, damage dealt by Red is increased by- Increased up to 40%, the lower the spirit gauge. Manifestations cooldowns are decreased by 30, but manifestation damage is decreased by 20. Nah. <laughs> nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Confront Governor Haskell. Can I banish his ass? <laughs> Bloody Haskell, mate. Oh, I look so pretty in my new outfit. I need to upgrade that the moment that I get to a, a place where I can. Cool. This is cool. <laughs> that was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. But all I feel is beaten. I feel powerless. I feel judged. I feel judged. Like I'll never be understood again. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. Do tell. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. Haskell's cowardice caused this. Haskell's cowardice is to blame. To save his own ass, he condemned a woman he knew to be innocent. And so a terrible ghost was born. And sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. I think this time I'm gonna blame him. <laughs> I don't trust this fella since the beginning. He looked so sus. Right from the start. 
I knew that the leaders were up to something, up to no good. And I should have done that with Pennington as well. I didn't like that guy either. He, he smelled fishy as, as hell. <laughs> and I'm pretty certain that, oh man, I, I should probably go back. If I could, I should probably go back and, and banish him or like blame him as well. Oh man. Yeah, do you know with games like these, you never, you never know. You can never fore foresee what's gonna happen. <laughs> You think you might do something good, but actually you make it worse for people. Sometimes it's a, it's a gamble. Such a gamble. It's concealed. Hmm. Okay. What is concealed and where? I feel a draft from the invisible. Ah, oh, there. Bonk. Ghastly concretion and piece of eight in silver. Getting all the good loot. Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. Oh, this again. Okay. Okay, let me see. Where do I need to look? Up there? And there? And anywhere else? Is it just two? Mm, okay. Oh, or... Up there as well. How am I gonna do that? Ay 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 ay. Okay, let me reload. Okay, it's already reloaded. Oh boy. Um... Did I get it? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh... Shit! Okay, but I had more time than I expected. <laughs> mm, now, am I supposed to go up here or climb up there? Oh, I'm supposed to take the elevator. Okay. What's this? Oh, I sneak past this? Okay. Interesting. There's replay value to this game. I mean, I don't know if it's true, but I heard there's five different endings for this. I don't know how... how true that is. I could definitely see there's at least three endings. I mean... Banish... Banish Antea, Ascent Antea, Resurrect Antea, but... Um, I don't know what the other two could be. I bet there's secret endings too. Mm. A lot of choices, yes. to go down here? Hmm. Okay, now we can take the elevator. Or lift. <laughs> what makes an elevator an elevator and a lift a lift? That down there, it was... Uh, I was tense. I was impatient. The infamy's doing, not yours. No, no. Doesn't change the feelings. I never thought I could feel such anger again. They were Deborah's feelings, not yours. Yeah, they were really bitchy yesterday. <laughs> they were really nasty towards e towards each other. Um, we have this haunting quest here. I don't know if I should maybe pick it up now and and then see. That's probably just a bloody Bible. <laughs> There's too many bloody Bibles in this game. Hallowed be thy name. 
mercy. Our beloved angel, heaven sent. <clears throat> I'm busy. What do you want? Apologies for the interruption. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm Hugh Batchelor. I'm a teacher. And you, son, are a heretic. He's changed his tone since New Eden Town. Mm -hmm. And I do not like the new one. No, me neither. What do you want? What happened to your hands, Hugh? An angel came down from heaven and gave me the mark of the Lord Jesus. We may talk about his good work, mm -hmm. if you wish to hear it. Stigmata? That's surprisingly Catholic. I'll assume you did not mean that slander. But be warned, I'll not take it again. About this angel. Tell me about this angel. How did you meet? The angel is my sister, and she bears the mark of the Lord. Marcy wandered in the wilderness for many days and nights. And then, one day, she returned to lead her people to salvation. He's haunted by a ghost, but thinks she's an angel. I hope you're taking note, Red McGrath. Your angel's a ghost. Tell me about your sister. I'm sorry you lost your sister. And I'm glad you got her back. Tell me about her. Do you believe in miracles, Mr. McRae? I believe, believe in the, the supernatural. <laughs> and I believe in the extraordinary, so... Aye, I believe in miracles. I don't believe in angels, though. If you are blessed enough to meet my sister, then you'll change your mind. I'd like that. Where can I find her? Near the old mill, hidden mm. at the end of Long Beach, is a cave. Our sacred place. She will be there. They never could find her body. But she is still there. Okay. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. Saints and sinners. Okay, let me just browse through your house. <laughs> I think I'm gonna listen to the advice that I got and we'll continue. If oh, Hugh look. puts his faith in his sister's ghost, he's a fool. Um, I will continue with the main story first and then um, when I get to the point where it says, oh, you have to do this and that, um, you're approaching the end, then I will, then I will maybe do more hauntings has to be realistic. He's looking for answers, you yeah. know. He's looking to his faith to give him answers. But he's looking in the wrong place. Mm. Now let's confront that Malacca. It is to the soul to be at once. One thing above all else, my friends, oh. is true. There's a wall now. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh, good. His latest sermon. We haven't missed it. Yay. <laughs> now I'm barging in with the truth. He's a liar and a throat. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith, my friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now, the wicked man never questions... I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. No. That's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. 
Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Yes. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Yes, ah. tell them good. There's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? All right, uh, this, it tells the story of a man, the story of a woman. Basically, do I focus on Deborah or do I focus on him? Or are we talking about the the Gibbs or what are we talking about now? It tells the story of a man, a latter day King Solomon. When plague struck his subjects, they turned to him for guidance and protection, for they were God fearing folk and he was a godly king. The king's captain walled the sick away, but the plague spread on. The people grumbled. The king thought he might fall. He needed a sacrificial lamb. You lose the run of your tongue, Mr. McCraith, and of the head to which it's fixed. There was no lamb. There was a trial, fair and lawful. The trial was not fair. You had no proof, and you knew it. Credible witnesses gave believable testimony, sir. Witnesses like Gibbs, who pressured you into a guilty verdict to avoid being suspected of witchcraft yourself. There was pressure, I'll not deny it. But I did what I did to protect the colony. It was a difficult time. You believe yourself a great occultist. The picture of yourself that you hold in your mind is that of a great occultist. To repel the devil, the wise and fearless man must learn the black spy's tricks. Are you a true demonologist ever wondered what lurks beyond the veil? Ooh, can I ask both? Hmm. Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil, past the hem, beyond the invisible? Have you ever heard of the Aralu? What gibberish is this? No? Your good friend, Etienne Roulet, did not, it seems, they knew worthy of his secrets. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Ooh. Do you then consider yourself a true demonologist? In order that a war be just, three things are necessary. Firstly, the authority of the sovereign. Secondly, a just cause. Thirdly, a rightful intention. Aye, the Summa Theologiae of St. Thomas Aquinas, a classic quote from which you have conveniently omitted an important detail. To wit, a just cause is required, namely that those who are attacked should be attacked because they deserve it on account of some fault. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge or there is no order. A man to make the judgment and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. What do you really want, Governor? I wish only to serve. I am the trusted servant of the good people of New Eden. Without me, they're lost. Without them, you would be lost. Yes. Maybe I do need them. A very human of me. But these people undoubtedly need me, Mr. McCraith. And there is no one else. Admit it. 
You toy with magic, you don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract, I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you! Aha! Poison it was, then! The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna? Hemlock? Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth unspoken! Secrets and lies! Wrongs, basically! Your wrongs! The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius! The wrongs that led to her death! She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. I don't want to look like a tyrant in front of everybody, but I think this guy really needs to die. <laughs> I think he's just going to bring everybody more and more to ruin, and I think... I don't know. I, th I think he needs he needs to go, right? <laughs> um, you will sacrifice the current community pillar with a blame ritual. Everybody will hate my guts, right? Everybody will hate my guts if I kill him. They really like him here, right? We'll spare the current- no, I this guy needs to go. No, bye. Bye. <laughs> First sacrifice, let's go! You had the power to stop the madness, but instead you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. You're a peacock. All show and no meat. He's a lot of meat, though. <laughs> I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. <laughs> he deserves blaming. And shame on me if I don't do it. Oh, it's best. No. <sighs> Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? Yes. Have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? Nobody's standing up for him. Not even his son. What does that tell us? <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh, God. Goosebumps everywhere. This is unfair. Oh. Oh, I don't know how to feel about this. Is guy. the evil gone for good? Far from it. Then, who will protect us? I will. While Mr. McCraith fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness. And, uh, the strength to bear the consequences of our actions. Etc, etc.
Hey, that's my loot. <laughs> Your fee. Oh. <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> One of the many debts my father left me. He doesn't seem to be heartbroken or anything. Sad about his loss. You'd best put your own debts first, young Master Haskell. Don't I know it? I'm surprised we didn't mention him. And that we let him just take over, to be honest. That was my first killing of a human in my entire playthrough but he really had it coming didn't he he was just a hot piece of shit <laughs> I hate this guy Ugh. after all this don't forget to rest judge jury choose to de destroy Fairfax Haskell oh god yeah this guy really had to de he had to go mate Rest at the shelter. Okay. I would I would rather be the one who is laying out the truth and then people take justice in their own hands, not me executing the justice and deciding over the fate of people, but you know Bloody Bible. We got a skill point. Oh, wait. This is new, right? The, ooh, this looks pretty epic. What is this? Fusion. And here can merge with red. Ooh, to deal increased damage for a short time. This allows the couple to tear through powerful spectral webs. My god. In combat, Antea can combine her ethereal powers to red's fighting skills and increase the banished damage. Yes! That sounds amazing. All right, um, Bane. Hitting an enemy with a rifle increase the damage of the next heavy attack by 30. Salvation. Defeating an enemy with charged heavy attacks refills the banished gauge by 15. Uh, Devil's Deal. Health points gains are increased by 15. Spirit points gains are increased by 15. Ban but damage taken is increased. Uh, everything is a but. Purgatory. Banishing triggers a damaging area of effect around the target. Ooh, I banish one and then I do an area of effect? Ooh, sweet. Yeah, I think I like this one best so far. Let's go with that. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the Settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there... The Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. Mm. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue and for what they won't even say her name why why her said it yourself people hate what they cannot understand now yeah. they know no better they know only fear and hate what they cannot understand especially when a woman is involved it matters not now anyway a woman died for nothing and it matters not that's not what I meant. But the lassie is dead. All we can do now is try to give her her rest. Perhaps she does not want to rest. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. Though I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. 
Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. This has been hard for you, for me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. I am dead and sooner will be gone for good. You think I don't know this? Oof. So act like it don't make this about you. God, I don't like either of these options. She's so pissed. <laughs> so act like it. I'm not the enemy here. Don't become my enemy, Antea, please. I don't want to fight you. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. <laughs> Whatever he's doing, he's he's doing it wrong. Poor Red, man. <laughs> don't do this, don't do that. This is wrong, that's wrong. Good night. <sighs> There's no pleasing you, Antea. I mean, I understand why she's feeling the way she feels, I guess. I mean, from what I know and everything, but he is trying. He is so understanding. He's so sweet. He's fighting Antea. so much. Did you just Antea? leave? I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to that stupid bloody island. Find Antea. All right. So now I'm all by myself. No cool superpowers. Antea, please tell me you're here. Well, I really like my new outfit. <laughs> Founder. There you are. Ready to go. I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You were not alone. Can we go now? I, what do you mean I wasn't alone? Somebody was watching me? <laughs> so do we get to resurrect her eventually? Y you can choose to resurrect her. I chose differently. I chose to ascend her in the end. So her life is gonna end. At the end of my playthrough, I guess. Um, but you have the you have basically three options as far as I know: blame, uh, ban, banish her, ascend her, or resurrect her. And I chose ascend twice, so I'm pretty I'm I'm, I'm determined. <laughs> All right, reach New Eden Town. I, I guess this is point of no return, though, right? But I, without her, I I don't have her with me, so I can't do anything else. Let's make a let's make a save. Void traveling, I guess. Uh. 
How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. Aye. Ears open. She's really sick of it, huh? But this is what I meant. She... There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. In the beginning of the game, she was dead certain that ghosts need banishing. Not, not ascending, they, they need to be gone for good, and banishing makes sure of it. So, resurrecting her, I don't know if she would like that, actually. <laughs> No, and then when she became a ghost, she was she sounded a bit different. But I think the real her would have liked that best. Banishing or ascension, at least. Well, you see there. This will only take a moment. Ooh, that's our new power, the merge thing. See. Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. And Taya's not... spell isn't working. I think she's gone. She's now able to channel her spectral powers into Red's weapon to use them. This also allows her to destroy stronger spectral webs. Press A to destroy those tenacious webs and reveal something. I couldn't read that fast. The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains bar the path. Have I mentioned how I know I am of you? Go on. Hmm. Let me just remove them all. You have my thanks, Miss Duarte. Much obliged, Sir McGraith. Okay, we back to flirting, I see. Interesting. Oh there! Seeker, you here? Please no Bible. <laughs> Advice to Women by Tiano of Crotone. This book is addressed to all women, whether with experience in magic or without. Herein lies collected a wealth of ancestral knowledge that has been otherwise forgotten, perhaps even forbidden. Many rituals are inscribed herewith, including the great ritual of concealment for your protection or that of others. Seeker, may the wisdom herein come forward, comfort and protect you, even in the darkest of times. Ceridian. Uh, manual on how to hide from men. Wish I had one. How can she find anything in this mess? Is that really what's important right now? I liked her better when she was less bitchy. Seeker drawings of different plants in detailed and scientific way. She draws well. Letter from Deborah. Grace, dear child, although I pray this letter finds you healthy and well, I confess that even should you give me your assurance on that count, I may well doubt them. I am no fool, my girl. I know something is amiss with you, and I know your father is concerned. Far though it be for me to interfere in your familial relations, it is important for a young woman about to make her way in the world to have help beyond the confines of a family. Enclosed with this letter, you shall find a key and a map. You will find the place. I have marked it clear. Do not forget, you are not alone. I am on your side. You can also count on Catherine Newsmith. She is a trusted friend who would, if asked, help you organize your departure. In faith and service, your teacher, Miss De Mistress Deborah. Seeker knew Deborah. She was a teacher? Yeah, your teacher. And Deborah sent her to Catherine Newsmith, her lover. Hmm. Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back seeker. to New Eden Town, and no seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace and where to find her. I guess Seeker. <laughs> seeker is Grace, right? It's probably her real name. Ask Kate Newsmith about Deborah. 
again. Oh boy. Ripping open the old wounds again and again and again. Crotone is a real location in Italy, and Diana was also a real person. She was an ancient Greek mathematician. Oh, fighting. Fusion. You filled the fusion gauge. With Antea, press LT and RT simultaneously to initiate fusion. With the fusion ad active, Antea and Red combine the capa capacities to deal optimal damage on all enemies. Ooh. Shall we dance then? Aye. Bonked with Bonked me with his head. If the spirit chases were working, we wouldn't have specters. I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see Kate. <laughs> Bonk, headbutt. Okay, so now we're traveling back again already. Did she get bitchy since the blame? No, they the, they got a bit feisty um, when they were in the other... Uh, Aralu? Aralu? In that area. With all the ooze. Fast travel, right? We need to go back to this place. Oh, oh, oh. Here, travel. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Whoa. Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself? Oh, that was a sudden end. Oh, this looks so pretty. The artists that worked on these are really good. Really good. Let me quickly check if I can upgrade my stuff. Okay, no one can. <laughs> can you feel the tension? Folk here are wound tight. Okay, let's talk to Kate Newsmith. What are you doing here? Hi, thick skin. Yoink! <laughs> Looking for her sister. But she left, didn't she? I don't believe it. You're back. Why? Good day to you too, thick skin. How do things stand since last I saw you? Would it please you to hear all is well and you are the author of it? Well, all is not well, and yes, you are the author of it. Kate is gone. Where? Why? We had an argument. Harsh words were spoken. She left for the woods. I would have you bring her back. I don't have time to go chasing after her. What makes you think I do? You will do me this favour. After all, the situation is at least in part your fault. How was it my fault? She come around. My fault? Really? <laughs> My fault? If your bond with your sister is broken, I suggest you look closer to home. All was well with us before you came, Banisha. No, it was not. No, it is not. <laughs> Folk worry. I must settle them with Kate's return. They still don't know what you did, do they? 
She's probably gone to the hunting lodge she likes to spend time in, near the road to Boston. Find her, bring her to her senses, then send her back here. Send her home. <laughs> What's the word around here? Do you know anything about Kate and a certain Grace? That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Why do you ask? I found a letter, an old one, addressed to Grace, but mentioning Kate. It helped to know who she is. I can't help you. And if I could help you, I wouldn't. After all that has happened, Kate's tale is hers to tell and hers alone. Hmm. Good point. But you knew Grace? Deborah wrote the letter. Deborah Comenius wrote the letter. All the more reason to direct you to my sister. All right, then. Damn it. One last She's, question. She has a point. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? Seeker, you say? Now, this I can answer. I've never heard that name in my whole life. Okay. Well, then, I'll be leaving. Looking for your sister. Okay, even listen to me. Just tend to Let's ties. talk to her and find out. Um, find Seeker, find Kate. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, hang on, let me check the map. I have no marker for this, do I? So is this this... Is it one of these then? Yeah, okay. Do I have a mark for that? Yes, okay. Then <laughs> find your sister on your own. <laughs> Fix can live up to her name, yeah. Just like our friend Lamentation. I. The treasure must be hidden nearby. Ah, screw the treasure. We have bigger problems right now, don't we? But it doesn't hurt to have a look in this cabin here. Hello, any loot in here? Yes, okay, thanks, bye. Very beautiful area. But then again, I pretty much say that about everything, every area in this game that is above ground. Pretty much. If in doubt, loot, yeah. Heads up, after you find Seeker, you won't be able to go back to do hauntings. Yeah, it's a bit... I don't know how to time this. <laughs> oh shit! Back here, monster! Oof! How's Bose, lady? <laughs> oh, Mr. McGrath! <laughs> you are a monster. Rude. Thank God! I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <sighs> well, I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me, if you can. Think nothing of it. How do you know my name? Who doesn't? You slayed the beast, by God's grace. I admit I thought you a charlatan. I told the newsmiths they get nothing for their money. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher, by the way. And what passes around here for a physician? Mm -hmm. Red McCraith, banisher of ghosts and slayer of the terrible beast. How may I help you? She already knew that. I need no help. I just scared myself. These days I'm afraid of my own shadow. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought it was attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? No. She's haunted. Clear as day. No, it's not ridiculous. Yes, it's funny. No, it's not. No, it's not ridiculous, no. If you're haunted, I might be able to help you. I'm not haunted. I just took fright is all. But if you really want to help, when I ran, I dropped my bag. It has my medical equipment and supplies. Could you get it for me? Medical supplies are valuable. A shame to lose them. I'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you, if you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. <laughs> All right, picture of health. You are such a good man. 
Banisher, rebel, finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. He forgot Beetlehead. Beetlehead? Is that an insult, young lady? Excuse me, you take that back right now. Fighting. What? I was pressing. Oh, the, the game thingy is not full. Okay, never mind. Okay, there's some more plans. Hellebore? No, wild shovel. Here in the crevice, Evelyn Fitch's lost bag. How did she manage to drop it down there? Can we not just zoom over there real quick? Well, I guess that's a no. So how do I get over there? I don't see anything. see any cabin anywhere did you feel that it's close <gasps> loot It's a shiny thing here. One of these. I wonder what they do. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Careful. They mean business now. Wait. They're boosted. By what are they boosted? There must be tormentor somewhere? Who's boosting you? Who's giving you a buff? Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, pick it up. There you go. <laughs> Easy as pie. Not I like pie. Can't cook. Oh, she can't cook? Oh. Somebody's gnawing on rabbits again. I. Haskell. Mr. Haskell, is that you again? Lemmy. Ay, ay, ay. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Or slide off or something. I see a wisp over there flowing around. Let me just put a rope here. Even if I d don't go down right now, I really like to have those. Wait a minute. Could I just go there and grab the... Hmm. Okay, let's just quickly do that. <laughs> 
Oh, wait, is this how I... Is this how I walked up there? Well, I'm on the other side of the, the crevice now, so that I could Our go... Our doctor may not believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. Ah, oh, that's her. Okay. Green cancelled, Sykes cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. Headache, fever, Rabena daily for a week cancelled. Rolling. Skin and mucosal lesions, loss of appetite, fever, mercury salts daily. I don't know how to pronounce that. Skin lesions, stiffness, mercury salts each Monday. Okay. Torn out medical consultation log. Oh. Oh. Can I join in too? Okay. It would be funny if you could yeet them down into the... <laughs> into the abyss. They never learn, do they? Nope. Oh, there's another one. Hang on a second, sir. Oh, crap, he lo The way he just dodged down. You son of a... Not hard enough. Come here, mate. Cut your life into pieces. This is my last resort. <clears throat> Suffocation. What's with all the... Wee? Evelyn Fitcher's bag filled with various plants and flowers. I hope whatever's in there is intact. The ghost was after Evelyn, not her bag. Spectral stains lead back to camp. Mistress Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. Maybe she was bored, maybe she had no choice. Hmm. Maybe she had no choice. Looks like her patients deserted her. Intriguing. I wonder why. Wonder how, wonder oh. I used to coat my wolf kills on one hand. Gosh, these are some really tanky wolves, mate. Oh There's no, I wanted one. to hit. Wanted to hit the other one. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. I understand the possessed wolves, but the normal wolves? Come on. Why would they need multiple shots to the head and being sliced by a knife or sword or saber or whatever multiple times until it's dead? It's a bit, a bit grindy. Kate, where is she? Not here, I guess. No dust. Oh, never was here. Took all the guns. Mm. You'll have to make do with what you've got. Good day to you, sir. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the Banisher. <laughs> you ass. <laughs> Spectral dust and witch stone. 169. Noise. Rose, consider this my farewell. I do not know what irritates me the most. Would you still do not want to admit that you, that what you did was wrong, or that you will probably never read this? No. All things considered, what annoys me the most is that I chose to write you this before leaving for good and will lack the courage to chuck it in your face. I now know I will not ever be able to make you open your eyes to what you did. I see these deaths on you, where they belong. This is your burden and not mine. To watch you pretend that nothing happened, that life goes on unbothered, suffocates me. Better I leave. Better for you, for me, and for all those who still trust you. Poor souls. If only they knew. I'll not tell them. Leave it... I'll leave it to you and your conscience, if you have one. Goodbye, Rose. You are in charge for good. I shall away for bo to Boston. Worry not for me as I walk along the cliff and away. Worry instead for the state of your own soul, Catherine. Okay. It's more serious than thick skin new. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's still time. 
if we make for the bridge to Boston. If, yeah. Let's go over there. Bullet sponges, yeah. Oh, these things again. Poor wolves always made out to be evil. Yes, it saddens me as well. They're actually very shy. And every video game makes them look like mindless, murderous monsters that would attack you as a, as a lone wolf, <laughs> they would attack you. Of course I slipped a little. Okay. Okay, leather. I got leather. Okay, so now we have to run across the... The cliffs? Ooh, I see a chest. Me likey. We like big chests, we cannot lie. Snow leopard. <laughs> I I don't think this is that. It's it's linen, I think, with, with dots on it. But yeah, it's I don't think it's fur, but I'm not sure. It's definitely not snow leopard. The dots would be bigger. Region. Ah, we have one of these again. Okay. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Did I do it? Oh no, I didn't. Once I boost the heart, destroy the boots. Oh, last second! That was a last second move, my god. I didn't see that one up there <laughs> at all. A camp. Recent. Kate's, maybe. Probably, yeah. Wolf pack. No blood, though. She did drop her notebook. <laughs> the way she's like staring at it. <laughs> did she leave without supplies? If she did, she can't have gone far. Oh no, she left a loaf of bread. Who would do that? I mean, yeah, when you're attacked by wolves, then maybe you would run. I, I, I understand. But not the bread. Kate's abandoned journal. I promised I would write no more, as I swore I would speak no more. But my thoughts need ink, I fear, to ease my mind. So my love, forgive this newest broken promise, and let me speak in the silence of my journal. What I have seen in the woods, my heart cannot endure. Betrayal and rage from beyond the grave. Bones and skulls and fangs and claws. Behind all this, my cold-hearted sister stands. And over the putrid carcass stands my long-lost beloved. How can I mend this? How can Rose mend this? How have the new smiths fallen? My sister stood before the carnage of her disgrace and did not blink. I hit her, screamed at her, and railed against her. She was unmoved. I must go. Our arguing surely puts the camp at risk. Ignorant of the truth, the people watch my tearful rage and fear me. They crave peace of mind, and so do I. The only other way to bring them to serenity they need would be to expose the dark soul of my sister. I'd rather be a coward than throw another victim to the wolves. She writes really well. Hmm. There's emotion in every word. I'm jealous. Writing's good when you struggle to express your feelings. Red McGraith, you express altogether too many feelings already. Aye, but you like it. He that doesn't. About me. Right, let's find Kate and get her talking. 
I like him a lot, and I think he does he does great. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I am so jumpy. Love finds a way. Ask Kate Newsmith about Deborah. I'll find a way. Oh, Sooner there she is. Later. I'll be out of here. I'm coming, love. Banisher? Your bag looks a little light. I'll be all right. Don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. How did you find me? Thickskin said I might find you here when she sent me looking. Oh, I don't want to hear it. You asked. <laughs> I found your journal. I found your journal, Kate. Stop lying to yourself. How dare you? I dare because you care. Come on, say it. Get it out. I'm afraid to. It will be all right. I promise. I don't want to care. I don't want to care for them. I don't want to care for thick skin. But you do. I, but you do. <laughs> and you can. As long as you care for yourself, first of all. So, what's it to be? I'll go. When I'm ready, I'll return. But she will step down. Further, and you may tell her this. I do not care to keep her secret. Not no more. All right. I'll tell her it. All of it. Why won't you leave me alone? Because the main story. About the beast. We've not spoken of the beast, you and I. What's your feeling about that day? The beast. Terror. You? A sick fascination. In service of the dead, you chisel old sins from the hearts of the living. To help the living, we must know who haunts them. To help the dead, we must know why. There's no help for the dead. Those poor souls. My sister did for them. May she soon join them. Wow. Beast is tied to the nightmare. The beast is tied into the nightmare. I must know how. I know nothing of this. You fled the nightmare in New Eden Town. The same nightmare killed the woman I love. You must know something. I am sorry for your loss. Truly. I believe what you say and I'd help you readily. But I know nothing of the nightmare. I'm a simple woman. I have failings. I lacked courage when I needed it. But that is my only crime. Deborah was part of the beast. She came for you. Please, don't. I need answers, love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to insist. But I need answers. No. I won't speak of her. Perhaps now is not the time. When is the time? I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Yes. Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. Pennington? No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? 
Pennington had a daughter? Pennington had a daughter, and you knew her? I knew her, but not well. Deborah had her in the school and spoke of her from time to time. Shy as a porcupine and twice as prickly, as I recall. Deborah wrote the letter in February Seeker? 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Maybe Pennington was abusing his daughter or something, and she was trying to get away, and Deborah helped her. And that's why Pennington headed in for her, for Deborah, and tried to punish her. Could Grace have survived alone? What did Grace look like? Yeah, brown what hair. What did Grace look like? I remember her thin and boyish, encumbered by dresses she hated to wear. That sounds like Seeker. Mm -hmm. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. Thanks. Goodbye, Kate. And be careful. Optional, ask Pennington about his daughter. Uh, find the cabin in the woods. Okay, let me look if I can find a fast travel point nearby. This one seems to be the closest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run there. I'm gonna travel to Pennington, do the optional thing. And then I'm gonna fast travel back and run to Seeker. Grace Pennington, hey. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna just run past these. No, 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 no. You keep on ghosting over there. <laughs> yep, getting close. Grabbing the loot real quick. The thick Yorkshire accent. That's rare here, right? Oh, I have no idea. Maybe it is. Whatever it was, I'm sure Pennington did it. He's a real punk. Oh man, I hated that guy too. Okay, let's fast travel. To find the cabin in the woods. Oh god, oh god. Is it here? Yeah, here, okay. Travel, yes, let's go. Oh, these these loading screen paintings are so cool. Oh, Pennington, you bugger. Oh, this is gorgeous. Hmm. If I get my hands this way. This. The mood is hurt. A ghost damaged the sign. Okay, but, but Pennington. Pennington is what I want to do right now. What have you done with her, Islander? Drop the innocent look, son. I'm not buying. That mutinous varlet escapes her cell and you swan in here without a care in the world. You expect me to believe the two unrelated? Is he looking for a new scapegoat? Already? My God. Answer the question, McGrath. Where is Ellen Priest? Can't blame her for running. Helen's own doing. Any a clue? I didn't even know she'd fled. Whatever she's doing, it's her own endeavor. She cannot have escaped without help. Again, I smell the deep, dark stench of rebellion. Out of me so hands. So dramatic. Should have been an actor. <laughs> All right, Captain. Settle down. 
Walk me through what happened. I... I don't know what happened, not exactly. The cell keys have vanished, a mutineer with them. Now, her character is one part vinegar and the other malaise. And who knows what bitter treason she now foments. Well, you had your chance. I was I was sparing your life. If she come, comes to get you now, that's your doing. And probably the... Probably lots of people in the camp helped. <laughs> this is not banish her business. I'm staying off this. All due respect, Solace is not my circus, and Mrs. Priest is not my clown. <laughs> this is not banish her business. That we know of. While she remains out there, flapping loose like an undone mainsail, there can be no trust in here. Find her, McGrath, and I shall believe you. Find her, and do what must be done. What do you know of a young woman named Grace? I don't know where you heard that name, Banisher, but you should not say it again. It's important, else I wouldn't ask. Important or not, you'll have no answer. After all I've done, I rather think you owe me it. The four told you, that much is true. But the debt will be settled some other way. I read the name on a letter. It was a very interesting missive. Let's prick him a little bit. I don't know what went on between you two, but she really hates you. And what would you have had me do? Abandon my duty as a father? Allow her to stray from the safety of her people, away from God, away from me. She wished me to bend, but in this world, those who bend must inevitably break. I stood, stout and firm. The letter told quite the tale. I'd like to hear your side of it. I have heard tell, sir, of the contumacious Scots, and I did not hear wrong. For you are indeed relentlessly, perversely, bloody-mindedly obstinate. The letter was clear. You're to blame for what happened to her. She has no one to blame but herself. I tried to prevent it. She would not listen. I hurt her. <laughs> that, sir, is laughable. I worked hard to make up for her mistakes. So she would not pay the price for them. Whatever you did seems to have made things worse. I stood firm. That, sir, is what must be done. And that, sir, is what I do. I stand firm. But the entire time that I'm here, all he's doing is sitting. <laughs> he's never out of this bloody chair. Why the mystery? Why the mystery? A stubborn, difficult child. Always quick to disobey. Especially when the orders were mine. Never understood her antagonism or hostility. A sheer bloody-minded antipathy. She didn't get it from her mother. Now I have no daughter and it is all the better for all concerned. Want to tell me what happened? No. If you must know it, I, I sent her away. I exiled her. Why? Why? Why would you do that? She left me with no choice. I caught her in an act of sin. I caught her reading, studying. Witchcraft, sir. I caught her studying witchcraft. There was a book. I don't know where it came from. I'm damned if I could get rid of it, but she would not put it down. Not even after I forbade it. Now, why does Lamy Haskell suddenly spring to mind? And Deborah, too. This is how you love. Deborah was innocent. Is this how you love a daughter? By sending her into exile? By visiting gross injustice upon her innocent teacher? I saved my daughter's life. If I came to learn your daughter survived, if I knew where she was... No, I have nothing to say to her. For me and all who know me, Grace Pennington is long dead. Think what you will of me, I care not. 
I did what was necessary. And I'd do it again. I should have blamed him. And that is when all I there is to say. Don't you fugitive? What is that? Investigate the armory. Oh no, that's that's about Helen, right? No, I'm okay. Helen can Helen can run away. That's that's fine by me. Um Let's go back to the main quest, right? Love finds a way, find the cabin in the woods. What's this? Destructible wall. It's indestructible. So I guess the fastest way is from here, Hunter's Camp, to get here. Why did I? I was here and uh -huh, ran to this one and okay, yeah, this one seems to be the closest or this one, but this path le looks easier. So I'm going to go here. Hi, sir. Lovely man, really. No. What was the act of sin? She was reading a book about witchcraft. That was her sin. He exiled her for reading about a book about magic, basically. Uh, here? Yes. Okay, and now we can look for Sika. At first, when she was talking about how she was brought up, it sounded like she had nobody and she was orphaned, right? But actually, she wasn't. She was exiled from her father. Probably for the better, though. He was a jerk. That's when I would probably reload an older safe and go after that guy. But there would be a lot of loading, though. I would have done... I would have have to do a lot again to to kill the guy. Maybe I'll be lucky and I get another chance. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the nightmare will come and get him. Now, Sika, where are you, love? Okay, this looked like blood at first, but it's just the light. Whee. I like the sound effect. Of the pungeon. I have another in sight. Oh. You're dead, Mina. Poof. Your funeral. And dead. Noise. This game is doing a great job at depicting how awful humans can be, yeah. The thing is that these people struggle with two things a lot, which is uh, fear and hunger. And these are great motivators. Really great Symbols. motivators. The hut may be near. And then you have the, the powerful and rich people like Pennington and Haskell, who abuse their power. Increase the fear, increase the hunger, and then just steer the people around to their liking. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here? It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. Oh no! Ah! 
Try another one. Why? Oh, this one is buffing. Okay, hang on. Hey, yo! No bully. Hang on, hang on. This one's protected. Ready and waiting. Shwam. What, you don't have a health bar? Could you die? Are you... Are you broken or something? Heads up! What is wrong with this thing? He doesn't have a health bar. He just won't go. I think I broke him. Okay, you know what? I'm just moving on. You live your tormentor. I can't! What? I can't leave! Can I go down here? Oh no, I'm stuck! What am I gonna do now? <laughs> The heck? Maybe if I... What the heck? I also can't use my powers for Anteo, though my, my bar is full. Look here. Okay, maybe I let him... Maybe I let him kill me. To me. Come on, kill me. I think this is the best solution I can find. Come on, kill. Give me the final attack. Do the bonk. Bonk. Come on. You can do better. Kill me. Kill me. I want to go to the afterlife. I want to be united with my love. Head bonk. Bonk. There you go. Come on. Put a bit of heart into it. Yeah. Shoot me. Come on! How hard is this? I'm standing still. Come on. Bruh. Are you going soft on me now? Come on. Do it. Do it. My health is not going down further. Come on! I wanna die! There you go. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Oof. That was just... This is just stupid, though, that you... How am I supposed to do this? Oh, well, this is not gonna happen again. Hey, shite's toughened up. Maybe I need to take care of this fella first. Okay, this time he had a health bar. Okay. Whew. Man, am I happy that this didn't buck again. <laughs> there is foul and foul is fair. There's a lot of fog down there. Follow my lead. This way. Anything here in the hut? Yeah, I'm pretty certain I gotta go this way, right? I mean, everything is like, hello. Go this way. Oh, one of these things. Bush. <laughs> the bell. This feels good. Damn.
Loki. But she's not here. What am I missing? Maybe I just had to remove this purple fog thing. And now I can go to her in the hut. Probably, maybe, possibly here. The aim that I explained yesterday, I just changed the aim. Chest, I like chests. High right piece of eight and leather. Alrighty. Down this way. I can go. I can go up there. No, what is the way I need to go, huh? Let's see here. Just extra loot. I'm not saying no to that. <laughs> High degree of difficulty, uh when you just want to die and, <laughs> and the enemies are like this is not fun if you're just surrendering like that. Seeker? already punched them into the void. Doink. I don't know what I keep picking things up like that. It's, it's, I mean, I'm not I'm not selling it, I'm not using it. It's just this fun. can't be a coincidence. <laughs> Could Grace be seeker? Come on, Dusty. Mateo. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Combat music? Why is there combat music? Let me activate this shortcut already. Looting is an addiction, yeah. Yarp. Anyone home? Another drawing? A rough drawn map of the old hunter's camp in the dark woods. What looks like a small cabin out in the woods as away a ways has been circled. Uh -huh. Deborah okay. knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. Fine wardrobe, a youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her. Aye. Transcribed ritual of dissimulation, scribbled handwritings, and the greatness of the shadow is found not only in magic, but also in the world beyond. Thanks to this, as yet unsuspected power, the darkness becomes an ally, a protective arm that cradles and protects us, allowing a perfect illusion to the untrained eye. Darkness envelop me, protect my illusion from the light, fool the senses, blind my enemies, and allow me to live behind the curtain of an alternate reality. Annotation from Seeker. I'm almost successful. The ritual of dissimulation is not complete enough, but I must be able to perfect it in my own way. Not surprising, coming from a demonology book. They have always been far too narrow-minded to broaden their vision. But with this base, I'll be able to create the perfect illusion spell. Maybe I should go thank him after all that he took a big risk in copying this ritual. Perhaps if our paths cross again, then I will thank my latest friend. Seeker and Lemmy? More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Hmm. Okay. 
Mistress Comenius, Deborah, may this letter found you. I hope your thanks to you, I can at least be my set. <laughs> I hope this letter will find you safe and healthy. I did find the hut, but I'm not staying. I can at least be myself, studying all the thing I love. How can anyone be scared of magic? Isn't it a wonderful thing? I have found a safer place, hidden away, a place where I could learn safely and invisible to all. Thanks to you, I may finally live free, away from him and his need for control. He never acted the father, only a tyrant who called the shots and left no place for difference of opinion. He never tried to understand me. Now all of this belongs in the past and a new life awaits me. A, li a, a life where I no longer have to be his daughter. In a way, he and I can both be free. Thanks for, thank you for your help. I hope to see you soon. Your student, Grace Pennington. Quite the fall from grace. That's not funny, and neither is this. Aye, fair enough. It's in his blood. He can't help it. <laughs> he has to. He has to make these jokes. Wait, am I not done in the hut? Oops, sorry. Ah, oh, yeah. Oops, I forgot about this. But I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lamy might. From... Veils? What? Sika drew this. Now we know. She's in the mountains. In the mountains, behind a magic door. And the circle is, somehow, the key. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Ah, uh, sure. Maybe. So now we go back to the fireplace. And first travel to Lemmy. Ask Lemmy about the Trismegistus riddles. Why did she look down there? What is there? Would be cool if there would be a, a camp here, but I guess we just gotta sprint back. Whatever to... it is, out with it. Oh, now what stays worth listening to? Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. It's as if you can't wait to leave. It's not like that. It's you sure? Complicated. Uh oh. Aye, all right. I believe you. Try me, love. Try me. Okay, we're sprinting back to the hunter's camp and fast travel to Lemmy. Come on, run, 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 run! Uh, looks like we're almost there. It's always complicated. Everything is always complicated. <gasps> oh, the choppiness. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sharp, sharp, right. This way. I'm glad that they gave both of them unlimited uh, stamina so they can just sprint like crazy. You have no mount or anything, so being able to just sprint like a mad person through the woods is actually pretty handy. It's not that realistic that you can sprint like that <laughs> for minutes and minutes and minutes through the entire map, but it's helpful. Okay, Lemme, where are you at? Down here, eh? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I hope this is the right one. Hopefully this is not down in, in uh, underground, you know? I love this painting, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, it's the right one. No governor, no meeting house. And it seems, no faith. Maybe people need to start to believe in something else. In themselves, for example. We need to make and Lemmy, are you upstairs? Enemy within. Hi. Well, hello there. Hi. What a pleasant surprise. 
I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. Built bridges say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. <laughs> Leaving might help. Leaving changes nothing. No, it doesn't. Stay here. Leaving changes nothing. You just end up making the same mistake somewhere else. We must always be open to the possibility that people may learn from their mistakes. Is that not right, Mr. McCraith? Spoken like a leader. I fear, however, that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. What are you working on? <laughs> we overheard you. What are you working on? I, to my horror, am working on a speech. Okay. It's... Well, it's terrible. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Speak of past mistakes, speak of forgiveness, you'll figure it out. I don't want to manipulate him, you'll figure it out. Or do I... Maybe he's completely, maybe he's completely messing it up if I don't help him. Forgiveness. Moving on. for advice, but I'll give it anyway. You could start with forgiveness. Seems appropriate. That might just work. Thank you. Big brain. Are things that bad? Tell the truth, I don't rightly know. <laughs> they don't trust me. They tell me nothing. And when they do, they're probably lying. And without the wards. Well... I fear things will get worse before they get better. In fact, they already have. Spectres walk, and we are in need of a banisher. Or two. If you can bring people peace, well, I doubt they'll be grateful. But perhaps they should have the strength to believe in a brighter future. Um, do you recognize this page? We found a page ripped from a book. Yeah, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. <laughs> Ever heard of Seeker? When did you last so see Grace? When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. <laughs> ritual That's worked? It? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see, some weeks later the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down and Grace was better off out of it. I was right, and I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. Ever heard of Seeker? Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker, is she Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. 
We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Uh, then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions me, so effective <laughs> that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my. What now? The book? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Aralu. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park. Comparatively speaking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you for your help. Back to the arrow, Louis. Did you we tell go. Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her <laughs> again. Yes. Once we found her, we'll be glad to tell her. Enter the void and find the book. Back into the void we go. That's not what I wanted. How do I get out of here? <laughs> So he's trying to be the new governor now. No. Yeah, more work to do. I Come on then. Talk to me. Don't hold back. I haunt you as a ghost, and you act as though that's normal. I'm dead, and I'm not all right. I'm not all right at all, but you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry, and it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way. Let me see if there's a faster way to get to the Aralu. Yeah, maybe I can fast travel there. That might be faster. Up on the hill and then taking the fast travel option, right? That should be faster than running there. Loot goblin not wanting loot. I I pff, I want the loot, but uh, yeah, time issues. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, it's n it's not like that I can use loot in any way. I mean, I could sell it to buy Someone things. Someone is vexed behind that door. Okay, we fast travel. Is this where we ooh, 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 is this where we go? Enter the void and find the book. Yes, we travel here. Yes, I want to travel there. Back down here, eh? Really? Down, down, down we go. This is the PC only game. Mm, I don't know if it is. I haven't checked. Okay, no, you can also get it on PlayStation. I don't know if you could get it on Xbox as well. Honestly, that, that I don't know. Chop, chop. After you, dear. You're gonna get enough of my backside, can you? <laughs> Further down, eh? All right. Down, down, down. Into the void, into the void. That red booty. <laughs> trying to look at the... Yeah, this is linen. This is definitely not, not fur. 
He has fur on him, but the white stuff is definitely no... No fur. Yeah, I like the glowy parts as well. Oh my. This is where the sorrow was, right? Form ritual. Okay, let me... That's the wrong one. Let me save real quick. Yes, overwrite. Into the void. So we're gonna do this again, right? With void traveling, yes. Seems like there might be one more ritual to do because this arc that we have. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Yeah, this was a boss area. We fought a boss here in this. Just yesterday. Look. I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. I rely on you. Your presence reassures me. I dread your absence. I can barely bring myself to think about it. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. That was a good talk. Yeah. I mean, sometimes they're fighting, <laughs> but th that was really, really good com communication right there. We fightin', we fightin', we fightin', we fightin'. There's more of them. I'm back to whence you came. Oh no, was there a big guy? Oh shit! Oh, oh ouchin'. Come on. Shoot him in the face. Again, 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 again. Don't let it crush you. I'm trying not to. Act. Uh, don't look down. <laughs> Seeker, where are you at? Well. Is this the little camp that Lemmy had? here Whoosh. all this way okay well, this looks like Lamy stuff only more scattered even with the void shifting the book should be around here somewhere found it <laughs> the truth 
Trismegistus riddles. Symbol downward pointing triangle. This symbol means balance, simplicity, solidity. Not really used by the demonology school of magic. This symbol will be preferred to those witches, women who call themselves scientists. It is mainly used for illusions, for any other spell that deceives the primary senses. To undo this kind of spell, focus on the origin of the spell and order the spell to be undone in behalf on behalf of the caster. Also specify what the spell should undo and what meaning it should release from the spell. Lots of words. Spell, 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 spell. <laughs> Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have Don't the symbol we need. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Let's go it. back to the mountain and find her hiding place. Why are you bloody jinxing it, Red? Why can I not jump down? Ah, okay. Never mind. Did you hear that? First things first, Red. Hoarding Harvester. Oh, this fella again. Lovely. You just can't get enough of us, can you? Hugging all the fun. All right. I'll get you eventually. <laughs> No, not in there. Uh, there. No more <laughs> no, on this. This isn't over yet. It's about to strike. Yeah, I can tell. Oh no, not the birds. Did he just play baseball with a bird? Or did it just look like that to me? Almost there. I know. You go, you weak bastard. One die already, sir. Ow. Standing by. Haha. <laughs> Eat this, Malaka. All right. Back we go. What is this vortex icon over there? Oh, it's the passage back. Okay. Back we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Seeker, are you here? <gasps> We're in the snowy mountains again. Nice. Yay! <laughs> My favorite place. Maybe should take care of this fella first. Don't you glitch out on me again, mate. <laughs> you almost did that, didn't you? Oh, I love the sound. Kick his ass. Kick 
kick his ass. Let's go. I can help. <laughs> awesome sauce. She really punched them into the void. <laughs> Almost ran in there. Uh, wait, how do I... Through here? Or do I have to take this? Okay. Oh, we take the gondola! Okay, makes sense. Plot thickens, guys. The plot thickens. Silence. Awkward silence between the two. Oh, and she's gone. It's like, don't, don't come too close. Good Monday. Oh, the color changed a bit. <laughs> I imagine the uh, the people who are responsible for audio, and there's just this guy scratching his beard close to the microphone to make the sound, so <laughs> they have a good sound for this. <laughs> mm. Audio is so important. I feel like sometimes the audio people are very underrated. Did you hear this breathing? Is there a beast 2.0 in here? Oh, it's a big fella. No! Shoot him, shoot him! Oh. Stay away from that meat sh suit or how you call it. No! Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. I clicked it, I clicked it, I clicked it. Okay, Whew. Thank me later. I will. <laughs> oh, stun longed. Ooh, ooh, ow. I thought I thought well, I was close to Seeker, so this is <laughs> this is really stretching on right now. I thought I was really close to finding Seeker, and then you know, okay, there's a camp here. This is good. Oh, I remember being here. Seem to be in the right area, but where she is, no idea. This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Okay. Come to the dissimulation spell. Let the veil of unknowing be lifted. Let us see through the eyes of Grace Pennington. See her yet? <gasps> she put 
the headgear on. Ceridian? You're surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. <laughs> At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time. And suddenly, you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. You're still banishers, after all. Hey, We are it. indeed. Grace. So... You know. I know you're Pennington's daughter, I... Still, can I see the family resemblance? In the end, neither could he. I must have hurt. The dear captain is many things, but he is a Puritan through and through. And I, his daughter, am a witch. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead. And Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt. But it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? We looked for you everywhere. Why did you leave the Maya marshes? I needed time. Silence. We own space. Hidden away behind Lamy Haskell's dissimulation spell. Oh. You know about that. It held a full seven years. Isn't that impressive? This yeah. is the place where I embrace solitude. This is where I made it a strength. Did Ceridian find you here? Not physically. I dreamed of her. I dreamed of the Maya marshes. So, I went there. And I found the island. Quite the thing. Meet your dream in person. <laughs> I suppose so. At the time, I was more focused on the fun I'd had getting to the island. <laughs> oh, so? Our first dance. I admit I ran away. But we have danced many times since then. Old Mossed, Ceridian and me. <laughs> you learned magic by yourself? Not really. Not at all. First, Lammy Haskell's forbidden books told me that magic was real. They say you must look out for the quiet kids. And that was me and Lammy. Reading those books opened my eyes to worlds of wonder. So but I did not learn witchcraft until Ceridian found me. Lammy showed me the view from the prison window, but my mistress walked me right out the door. Lammy was relieved to hear you're well. Was Ceridian your true mentor? Lammy was relieved to hear you're well. He talked about paying you a visit. When I was exiled, he was the only one who'd help. Sweet boy. But now is not the time for visitors. Later, perhaps. Later, when you have lifted the curse. The boy will be disappointed. He has a thing for witchery. The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seemed broken. We need your help. Of course you do. <laughs> We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This void breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the Void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the Void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. 
We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. Maybe we should check out her wares. And see if she has anything that I could use. I would like to compare to what I have. Physical resistance 13, dexterity. Manifestation damage. What's this? Void splinter. Can be obtained by defeating sorrows. No, all of this is just green stuff. All of uh, everything that I have is, is way better already. Okay. And with that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. We'll try. Cross the void. What's that? That is not your concern. I like your new place a lot better than the old one. I was a different person then. I don't know if I... They're super useful. Oh! American Vampire. Vampire, find the old writings by the Brotherhood of St. Paul's. Oh, dang it. Mystery about old moss head, okay. I don't know if this will make my life easier. Ah, this, there's a nice chest. Okay, let's see what's in there. Ethereal braid. Braid? It's an amulet, but it's crap compared to what I have, right? And snare duration is increased by 30%, but ensnare cooldown is increased by 30%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always the good old downgrade. Everything is giving, getting a bit better, but also massively worse. They've seen better days. As have we all. Hmm, true. True, true. I'm just quickly running to the void place. I don't know if there's a faster way for me to get there. Maybe there is. Uh, here, and I'm here. Let me... Cross the void. I'm gonna go here, frozen veils, and then... Was it in the cave where I just was? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I thought I could run there anyways. 600 meters doesn't seem so far, but it's actually quite quite the distance in this game. Come on, sprint, sprint, sprint. Imagine now it won't let me fast travel. <laughs> okay, this way. Yes, let's fast travel. Ooh, these paintings, so cool. The detail in it, man, this is amazing. Do we go to this black pond again? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh, the music. All right, guys, and here I'm going to make a save now. And this is where we will continue after a short break. And then we will switch over to the void and we'll hopefully make our way to New Eden Town to finally get rid of this bloody nightmare and hopefully bring a bit of peace to this land and maybe hopefully also ascend Antea to give her some peace.